Well, that's good, YouTube. Back with another one. Before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everyone that hit that like button. Really helps with the algorithm, really helps the videos get recommended. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the new channel. I've been posting all the Instagram live videos, so make sure you guys go tap in. The link will be in the description box. But well, let's get right into it, man. So I know you guys like to hate on Boondock, say, yo, he's only talking like this because he's Presser's brother, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not even caping for Boondog, but no cap. I feel like if you're the rappers in the city take Boondog's advice that he's been giving out on Clubhouse, you could really, really elevate your game, right? And before I play the video for you guys, I'm not even going to hold you guys up with the long talking, right? But the way the music game is now, with the streams and you could promote it yourself and all that, do you think it's a good idea for rappers to sign a deal? Let me know your thoughts, man, or stay independent. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitch so I can start reacting to these videos, man. Let's get into it. Uh, Bud Dog. Oh, God. Big CEO Bud Dog. I got a question for you. Um, when is it better to be, be independent? When is it better to sign a deal? I'm going to kick that question to you. Um... So obviously, to start it off, you're going to start independently. You don't sign until you think you have enough traction and you think you got what it takes for a label to take you to the next level. Now, once you get to that next level, it's up to you if you want to keep signing with a label or if you want to go back independent. So if I was a, if I was someone, I wouldn't really sign over my rights. Like, for, for instance, like, for you guys that are thinking you're just going to go get a label deal right out your first track, that's not happening. And that's no, not even no leverage to do that. No leverage. You guys are walking in. What do you want? 15 bands? You want 10 bands? Like, I would get hot, get super hot when label wants me. I'm taking mad meetings. And then, I'll, you know, that's how we did with Press. Like, the only reason why we had mad leverage is because Press was so hot. So now when we walk in, we're the ones doing the talking and we're the ones saying, yo, this is how it's going to go. This is what we're doing or else we're not signing. You guys look like you're just trying to go in there like you just want to check. And if you just want to check, then you, if you're not hot, you're going to get a bullshit check. And the next thing is, what you have to do is when you're going into these labels, it's not about money. Stop thinking about money. Because when we went in, it was never about money. It was about the machine. It was about us going in. And what's going to take us to the next level? I didn't care if they give us a million, two million, five million, a hundred racks, fifty racks. Because at the end of the day, oh, it was never oh, about the money. Man. What do you say? Oh, okay, uh, now you could talk. Who? Who could talk? Who Well, yo, anyways, yo, listen. That's all I'm saying. Like, you got to just make sure you just leverage it right. If you go in. Like I said, yo, don't go in there thinking it's about money, fam. Because, fam, all they're doing is giving you advance of your royalties. So all they're doing is giving you money before it comes in, before it generates. So it's all money you're going to have to recoup anyways. So before you could even move on, you just got to recoup that. Or if they drop you, it's different. You know what I'm saying? But it's just whatever, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, So it's up to you. Just don't go into okay. no label and you're not hot thinking you're gonna get bags and don't go into no label just looking for bags because that's when they're just gonna take all the percentage from you they're, they're gonna, gonna rape gonna rip you. you off gonna, that's just what's gonna happen just make sure but my plan if i was to rap like i told you again i'll get hot go get some money get to the next level and then go back independent because now i know the system i know what to do i have the links do whatever i need to do but that still won't work too because sometimes you just need the machine. The machine is just the machine. Sometimes you just if you're not a sick man. If you don't have a sick team, don't think that you could just do this independently. This shit comes with a lot of components. If you don't have these components, better off you just go get I don't know, go pay a label. I don't know. Or just quit, fam. Real thoughts. Shit is ninety percent business and ten percent talent. So don't think that this is just about talent. Because there's a Damn lot of talented man. people out here. This is about business and how you conduct business. Are you going to do good business or are you going to do bad business? Because there's a lot of people like, we lost deals. Let me give you a situation with how we lost our Adidas deal. By getting booked for fat ricketties, corporate 
a, a corporate company coming, giving you endorsements, giving you a deal, and you showing up with 20, 40 niggas. You think they're going to want to do business with you again? No. And after that, they didn't answer our calls. They didn't send our e- emails. They didn't answer any emails. But they didn't have to tell me why they cut me off. I know why. You know what I'm saying? So if you see how real niggas move or real industry people move, they just... Yeah, he's talking too much. Does anyone else have something to say? Yo, he was talking some facts, though. He wasn't lying. Who, who's that? Me, it's Ricochet. He wasn't lying. Audience. 